My new brand Kai finally launches on November 1st and I wanted to do a little unpacking for you guys and show you my base layers. This is the best legging ever. I took my time on this one. This is the legging, then the baby tee. Super comfortable. I'm showing you that it's nice and stretchy and we're cute. I dressed it up and bye. Kylie Jenner's new clothing line, KHY, is off to a rocky start. Ever since the brand was announced on October 25th, 2023, to much fanfare, it's been the subject of criticism for its questionable quality and accusations of copy designs are already flying high. There's a huge PR mess going on at KHY, so let's talk about it. The Kardashians have a history of failed business ventures, but Kylie's current flop feels incredibly abrupt. In classic form, she's trying to hype fancy sweatpants and basic sweatshirts at luxury prices. KHY's launch has a hot mess written all over it. From the weak designs to the high price tags, and sadly enough, Kylie's store is about to be another failure. KHY worked with a brand called Namilla to launch her first products. Namilla makes clothes in Berlin. Their clothes are wild and sometimes have big messages that are either incorrect or just considered graphic. Some grown-ups think their clothes are too silly, but celebrities like Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion love wearing them anyway. Even though they seem strange to some people, they're popular with stars who like unusual things. Get this, loves, for Kylie's new KHY launch, she and Namilla worked up some madness together. Can you believe that they actually made leather bodysuits with pieces cut out? I know, I know, it's all very odd and unique, just how Kylie wanted. She wanted to show off her artsy vision, so her designs with Namilla were meant to get people noticing and wondering. Some look like they were created with black fake leather jackets in wavy shaped necklines and matching high-waisted leggings with see-through oval holes going down the legs. I mean, can you imagine? See-through cutouts in leather clothes and those insane shaped necklines? Do you think that it's taking it too far, loves? Don't get me wrong though, the weird new ideas look great. I know y'all were super excited when Kylie dropped her new brand. However, fans are dragging everything from the quality to the vision of this flop era. Now, don't get it twisted. We know Kylie Jenner slays the game when it comes to branding, but with KHY, the people are saying something just ain't clicking. It's causing a lot of chaos from stealing designs to serving she and quality. The devil works hard, but Kylie Jenner's PR team works harder to save this train wreck. It all started when that small designer, Betsy Johnson, publicly blasted Kylie for jacking her business plan. Betsy accused Kylie of stealing concepts from her faux leather brand to launch KHY. Things then got thicker, you guys, cause Betsy even shared messages from fans noticing similarities between her signature styles and Kylie's new collection. She then revealed that she had emailed Kylie's team details about her company's aesthetic and drop style business model six months earlier, claiming they stole her creative plans and launch plan for their fast fashion line. This whole situation took such a toll on Betsy so much that one time she showed her student debt from fashion school writing, I stare at my student debt worked my ass off for this like so many other working class kids who bust for the expertise they weren't born into. This emotional message sparked an online debate where some people argued that ideas on leatherwear can't be owned while some maintained that some things just don't happen at the same time. It's not about the designs itself but the way of the business which is to have drops of products made in collab with smaller brands which is groundbreaking. Either way the controversy added flames to existing back over the quality and vision of the KHY clothing. Kylie has gone on record several times to declare that KHY is meant to be affordable and accessible brand for her everyday fans, not just millionaires. She told interviewers, I knew I wanted to design my own clothes, obviously my love for fashion, and then just create styles and clothes accessible for everyone. I knew I wanted to design my own clothes, obviously my love for fashion, and then just creating styles and clothes that were accessible for everyone. What's the one piece of inspiration behind Kai? Every collection is so different that probably just like look inside my mind, like I'm always changing my style or just expressing myself through fashion. So it's all really fun and different. What kind of mood would you say you're in right now? I think I'm back in my King Kylie era. What is one lesson you've learned from your other businesses that you brought with you when launching Kai? Hmm, probably being more meticulous. Like 
I think going over everything again and again and even trusting yourself and yeah, I put all my love into this. Kylie's vision was to work with these amazing designers and collaborate and bring high fashion to Main Street and to have it just be accessible for everybody. She wanted all of her supporters to experience it and it to be inclusive. But oh my loves, the clothes they made turned out to be rather pricey. It seems not quite the affordable range young Kylie's fans were hoping for, I can tell you. Why, some of those crop jackets cost almost $250. Can you imagine? After Kylie promised cute threads at reasonable prices when she first described her ideas for KHY, many of her fans felt disappointed seeing the tags on these fashion forward looks. It was all meant to be attainable for her young audience, but $250 for a jacket alone? That's far too high for the average pocket. So I'm not surprised her followers felt disappointed that the cost didn't match Kylie's original vision of affordable high style. I'd say this mismatch between the forward thinking style and budget prices was a big disappointment for many. Adding to the confusion, people don't know what the clothes look like on regular buyers since Kylie didn't send PR packages to influencers or provide photos of non-celebrity models wearing the items. Reviews only came from her celebrity inner circle like Kendall Jenner and Hailey Bieber, not everyday shoppers. Fans want to see real people wearing the clothes, not just famous models. Where were the everyday influencers and microbloggers reviewing fits for their followers? Not surprised Surprisingly, comment sections exploded, demanding campaign photos showing how pieces moved on natural bodies beyond the A-listers. As one fan said, we've only seen them on Kylie, Kendall, Hailey Bieber. Those are all celebrities. Where are the photos of real people wearing this stuff? This comment, exactly, exactly. I completely agree. Kylie didn't send anything out to influencers. No one has seen these products on anyone real. We've only seen them on Kylie, Kendall, Hailey Bieber, and what? Who Anastasia and like whoever else was at that launch dinner, but like those are all celebrities. And that's why like Rare Beauty and these other brands did so well. This is what people say, I feel like. Um, because they know that like, yeah, Selena Gomez is a huge helper for the brand, but you can't you can't survive, I feel like, in today's day and age only by putting those products on Selena Gomez. And I think they realize that and they do that really well. And would you believe it, loves, when Kylie then boasted online of her other brand, Kylie Home, winning some fancy award, fans grew even more upset. To them, it seemed just another sign confirming their fears that KHY was already proving a major flop before it barely turned a year old. You see, loves, followers were still waiting for those relatable pics showing everyday bodies wearing the brand, not to mention wanting some genuine reviews beyond the celebrity treatment. So Kylie ignored their pleas and instead promoted an honor for a separate brand? Well, that only showed just how out of touch she was. Clearly, her team needed help connecting better with the fans KHY supposedly targeted. Between the weak online presence and Kylie's public blunders, supporters worry the brand will disappear in no time. And honestly, loves, I can't say I blame them. Hi, Art. Thank you so much for being here and presenting New Eagles Award. It means the world coming from you, and I'm so proud to call you my friend. I'd like to thank WSJ for this award. I've always loved beauty and fashion, and to be recognized for the success of my brands I've built and my new Kai that launched today, it's so special to me, so thank you. The real drama kicked off when those KHY orders began arriving at people's homes. Reviews comparing the clothes to toxic plastic burial suits sent me screeching. I'm talking faux leather suits that don't fit your body. No stretch, no movement, nothing. One fan said that her KHY set was swallowing her curves faster than Tristan Thompson in a room full of Instagram models. She said she really needed bigger assets to fill it out. I know Chloe felt that deep in her soul, but okay, go off. Where's the pick or clip for this? I ordered some pieces from Kai. Let's unbox and try them together. I am impressed by the shipping time. It took them a week to send my package to Hong Kong. Apparently, Kylie's completely involved in the brand from designing and picking fabrics. So I have really high hopes for this. I got three pieces. I got the dress and the matching leather set and the total was around $300, which isn't too bad. I bought everything with my own money, by the way. They didn't send me a package. Also, I didn't watch any reviews because I don't want to be swayed. I got everything in a small. Let's try the leather top first. Ooh, first impressions. 
It doesn't have that plasticky leather smell, which is good. And the material feels quite sturdy, but how it fits is a whole other story. This looks exactly like the photo, so I'm not surprised, but I wish it molded around my body a bit more. Like the front kind of gives shell. Like I just wish it moved with my body a little bit better, if that makes sense. Like if I sit, it kind of like... Do you know what I mean? But I would wear this for a night out or like a dinner. And I do love the back, especially with the adjustable Velcro. And don't get me started on sizing. Some people said their clothes were too big to fit them perfectly. I mean, what a mess. Okay, I really hope these leather pants fit me. I know they're gonna be so long on me because I'm 5'3". Let me get some heels. Even with heels, they're still hella long, but that's on me, not Kylie. I should have sized down and gone an extra small because it's quite big on me, like especially this area. Like it has potential to be cute, but this just looks a little boxy. Maybe I'm just not filling out the pants well, like I just need bigger hips. <laughs> and then I got the bodycon dress. Okay, I think Kai runs big. I'm usually a small, but I should have gotten an extra small on this as well. I do love that these two side panels make me look like I have hips, but I don't love this middle part that kind of sticks out. But then again, I think it's like, it's too big for me. Like, it just doesn't lay flat. Oh, it has so much potential to be a snatched cute little dress. It's just too big. The leather top's definitely my favorite of the haul. I wish I could have gotten the hoodie leather jacket, but it was all sold out. Overall, especially with the price point, I am impressed with the quality and material. It didn't fit and shape as well on me as it did Kylie, but I should have sized down. Just based off of the pieces I've tried, I don't think the clothes are special enough to attract attention to a new brand, but because it's Kylie Jenner, of course it does. But wait, loves, before we put the final nail in Cage Wise Coffin, let me fill you in on their next drop, a collection of puffer jackets released in early November 2023 in collaboration with the luxury puffer label Entire Studios. And let me tell you loves, these KHY puffers actually turned out great. I cannot lie to you loves. Such bold colors, major details using finer, warmer materials. I even spotted one fan walking around the city looking cozy and cute in her new puffer. Gotta give credit where it's due. $128 seems a proper bargain for one of those puffers built to last. The quality blows those those tragic faux leather suits out of the water. Maybe the success of this entire world collab line can make up for those other KHY fashion fails. What do you think of giving Kylie's label another chance based on the puffers? Maybe they are a sign of hope. Okay, so it is currently 29 degrees <gasps> and I'm trying out my Kai puffer jacket. I got it in an extra small. We're gonna see if it could last us for I have about a 10 minute walk to work, so I'll keep you guys updated. So my final thoughts regarding the Kai puffer jacket is it's a steal. For that price point of $128 without shipping, I mean, it kept me warm. If anything, it made me realize that I should have bought the long trench coat version of it because my feet and my pants were cold, but this did exactly what it needed to do. I felt comfortable, I was cozy, I felt protected with layers with the Velcro and the zipping and the buttoning as well. The only thing that I wish Kylie would come out with is some gloves and a hat set to match. Definitely go run and get this. I just wonder, is it better than the Aritzia Super? Now, I don't want to oversell it, loves. While those puffy jackets dazzled, the rest of the collab collection disappointed. Those basic sweatsuits especially, I hate to say it, loves, but they gave serious dollar store vibes. Yet, the labels were still boldly marked with luxury pricing. Plenty of letdown shoppers pointed out that they could have grabbed the same thin, cheap-feeling fabric at their local Forever 21 for a fraction of the cost. And rumors about the actual quality got worse. Word on the street is some packages are arrived wrinkled and janky, and people compared it to fast fashion brands that you find on sketchy websites. That synthetic polyester was as thin as saran wrap and probably cost Kylie $5. But then this cheeky billionaire had the nerve to charge $98 for basic sweatpants. Fans want to know who is running quality control over there at KHY headquarters because that mismatch between cheap materials and a 
extreme pricing is just laughable. So was that false advertising or did the real tea get watered down somewhere behind corporate doors? Make it make sense. So what do you think loves? Is Kylie's collab just more bait and switch marketing playing us for fools? Point blank, the people have some more questions that deserve answers. What happened to the custom fabrics, bold colors, one shoulder crop tops, and plush fur bucket hats we were expecting? People are asking who's really making the choices for KHY because it seems like the brand keeps changing directions. Too many flip flops and we are about to cancel this launch party quick. From social media, y'all can see that they just took random basics and stamped the KHY name on it to sell a dream. Ugh, clearly we can see that there's no creativity and vision. This reminds me of when Courtney dragged Kylie when she said Kylie doesn't know her style anymore. Looking at KHY clothes, she was right. Nothing looks like Kylie's taste or matches her natural sense of fabulous fashion. How many bad launches will it take before Kylie fixes things? We went from Met Gala hair to sweatpants, even Walmart wouldn't sell. When will she come up with good ideas again? Fans are tired of cheap copycat clothes for crazy prices. Do the Kardashians need to call a family meeting? Her supporters want boss Kylie back, the smart boss of Kylie Cosmetics, not wannabe Zara with bad ideas. If you thought reviews on quality were rough before, wait for this pricing tea to spread. And if that wasn't enough to upset people, get this. Some big news leaked out making fans even matter at KHY. Word is Kylie's designers spend about $7 sewing each pair of those boring old sweatpants. Can you believe that? They use the cheapest fabrics too, but then Kylie turns around and puts a $98 price tag on them just to get richer. Don't waste your money on Kylie Jenner's new fashion line. It's rough right now and we'll see how much worse it gets. This is the vegan leather top. It does have a scent. These are the vegan leather pants, which are about as tall as me. Wait, is this a joke? Wait, 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 you're kidding. I do really like the top. It is adjustable, cinches your waist. Very good so far. I think these weigh like 10 pounds, they're so heavy. Good luck packing this in your suitcase. I look like I'm gonna join your local biker gang. Still dragging on the floor, even if I am on my tippy, tippy, tippy toes. They look like I have a BBL. <laughs> They're making so many noises. I feel like I could start like a beatbox band with these, like psh, psh, psh. May I present to you six inch heels to see if these will fit. I'm still stepping on the pants. So unless you are six foot tall, I do not recommend these. I am five five, and even with six inch heels, which makes me six foot, that was bad math. They're still too long. Bye bye. People are calling her straight up greedy for tricking fans. Just imagine, those sweatpants probably cost less to produce than a Happy Meal, but she sells them for over 10 times that price because the tag says, Kylie, the devil really does wear Calabasas. This scandal makes that billion dollar boss look super greedy and mean. No wonder reviews were so ice cold. Miss Jenner better cut prices or offer refunds before she loses all her fans for good. These greedy allegations have left fans confused, but sadly, Sadly, this iconic scheme has totally backfired. After being misled into buying overpriced basics, customers started a social media riot that would shake even Kim K's Met Gala petite frame. People are even saying history has repeated itself with the latest dull basics dropping from KHY. It's giving flashbacks to the epic disaster known as Kylie Swim in the summer of 2021. Y'all remember that disastrous swimline crash and burn from the summer of 2021? It was marketed as a sexy, standard alone brand showing Kylie's curves. Promotional images featured people hanging out by the poolside in 90s style fashion, complete with the logos. But the affordable luxury vibes only flowed skin deep because behind the scenes, actual customer reviews told a different story. People were utterly perplexed when they received saggy, ill-fitting swimsuits in cheap fabrics, lacking any structure or shapewear lining. Photos surfaced of unfortunate customers drowning in excess material rather than rock sultry cutouts like the ads depicted. It turns out there was zero UV protection tech in the fabric either with colors running and fading fast after one light pool soak. I have never bought a Kardashian product before. Uh, I'm kind of stuck to my makeup routine, etc. but I thought I love swimwear, so let's try it out. Of course, the packaging is super cute. I love the logo and the general branding, but the quality is not it. I tried on the swimsuit last night. Honestly, couldn't take a video. It was completely see-through. Like it's the thinnest 
piece of material in the world. I wish you could feel this nothing piece of fabric right now. Like it is not double lined. It's complete. You can see my, my kitchen and finger right through it. This bathing suit is $80. I have better bathing suits that cost half the price. And I'm not even gonna go into how bad the stitching is. There are things falling apart everywhere. Save yourself some money, don't buy it. I will be returning ASAP. Add on a nightmare sizing chart leaving most shoppers stuck between too small and too big, capped off by hefty shipping delays, and Kylie Swim sang faster than fan hopes of a Kanye West and Taylor Swift reconciliation. And remember Kylie's skincare brand, Kylie Skin? What a big, messy disaster that turned out to be too. She acted all proud like she found some magical new way to get perfect skin, but it was really just the same old scrubs and serums in boring bottles. Models. Do you guys remember those nutty walnut scrubs she bragged about? What a joke. They were just oily brown goop that didn't do anything. And those yellow vitamin C serums? Watery, stinky slime, if you ask me. What was she thinking trying to sell us that bath water? Kylie's skin was a major skincare flop, just another bumpy mess express fans should have skipped. Reviews came back, rating products at average at best. And don't even get me started on fans rating the line as overpriced basics you could dupe on Amazon on for half the cost. She tried selling a $10 coconut moisturizer for four times the price because it said Kylie on it. Many supporters felt tricked again because the brand said that their products were fancy and high quality, but the ingredients were actually just plain and simple. It's not much different from your local drugstore shelves. The minimal effort gave off major cash grab vibes versus a sincere attempt at elevated skincare. We expect more from the alleged makeup queen of Calabasas. Don't get too relaxed and just make any product just because your name will help it sell. This ain't Fashion Nova love. Have a purpose and stand for quality. Currently, KHY is giving me PTSD from all the other disastrous Kar Jenner side hustles like Quartz's lifeless posh blog or Kendall's oral health scandal. Remember that shameless teeth whitening promo that got her sued for damaging people's mouths? See, Kylie isn't the only person whose business ventures often flop harder than a Kim Kardashian photo shoot trying to make fetch happen. In response to this uproar, a KHY customer service agent allegedly told shoppers prices have increased tremendously in the raw goods market as a lame excuse for the inflation. Meanwhile, it was confirmed no such market hikes occurred. Busted! Nice, try covering up that scam with lies. Is Kylie taking business advice from Tristan Thompson or something? Because everyone was surprised. Look, loves, we know her lavish Calabasas lifestyle requires big coin, but these sneaky tactics are tacky when you're customer base probably makes minimum wage. Let's hope KHY's pricing humbles her back to reality. Most fans wonder whether Kylie ever even wears these tragic KHY looks out of the house or if it's just all overpriced samples tailored perfectly to fit her Instagram baddie figure. Cuz from these customer reviews of products arriving straight off the Fashion Nova clearance racks, I suspect Miss Jenner took one glance and shipped that PR box right back where it came from. At least she's promoting those Balenci wickets nowadays instead of pretending she'd ever wear these Walmart quality messes even on a casual grocery run. But seriously, Kylie, take notes from your family's failures and switch this damaging trajectory up before you damage your reputation. Another Vogue business model case study for how not to lose 100 million followers in 24 hours. Declining relevance is not a good luck for the digital empire love. It's time for a change. By the third collection, most reviewers agreed that the quality was terrible and the clothes were poorly made. Oh! Oh, Kylie, 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 Kylie. What are we gonna do with you, love? We wanna see you slay. We really do. Don't you remember how you work all the magic, love? How you manifested that billion dollar lip kit empire out of thin air? You were our branding queen and hustling. But these KHY fashion flops got your fans scratching their heads, love. It's just not the fire we know that lives in you. This stale, knockoff, relaxed vibe just ain't it. Many fans believe that it's time for a comeback and that she should channel that hustle and start over fresh with designs actually worth the price tag. She should look beyond skims crumbs and stop imitating what Kim K has already served 10 times over. Forget chasing clout by paying clueless TikTok influencers to show whatever flavor of the week your team brainstorms. They need some wow again. No more of these basic sweatsuits and plastic leather nonsense. All right, y'all, enough spilling the tea about our girl Kylie. We love her, but let's Let's talk about her brand KHY. Is it hot fire or a flopping mess? 
Yes, I think if Kylie gets back to really knowing her fans, there is hope. She is only 25 with kids, no time for product fails. Maybe she needs to hire a creative director or do a customer feedback panel or let Mama Kris Jenner whip this brand into shape. So what do you think? Is it too late for Kylie to turn this KHY brand around or can she pull it out of this nosedive? I wanna hear all your thoughts, loves. Do you think our girl's got enough time to save this sinking ship of a brand? Leave your comments below.